Well, there's no getting away from this fact. These days, we're spoilt for choice when it comes to internet browsers. A plethora out of Mozilla, Safari on macOS, Chrome, Chromium, Internet Explorer and Edge coming out of Microsoft. But we're going to wind the clock back here at the Backyard Tech Channel and have a look at a classic internet browser. It's retro software time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, we're going to take a look at Netscape Navigator version 6. G'day everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It is Retro Software time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Friday morning. This one we're taking a look at Netscape Navigator 6. Now this is the only older version of Netscape I could get my hands on safely. I did get my hands on Netscape 9, but that's like 10 years old. I wanted to go further back and I tried to get my hands on Netscape 4, but couldn't get it. So I managed to get my hands on Netscape 6. Okay, bit of history with me and Netscape. That's how I got to Firefox. I've never really been a fan in any way, shape or form of Internet Explorer, right the way back to the Windows 95 days. I used it out of sheer, I didn't know what else was out there. And then I discovered Netscape. Back in the 90s, and I guess you could say the early 2000s, very early 2000s, the competition between Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator was cutthroat. Now, MacOS was sort of there, but you were most people were using, was it Safari back then? I can't remember. I didn't do, I, you know, I haven't done a lot of work with Macs, all right? But for Windows, it was Netscape Navigator, and Internet Explorer. Now, we all know the history behind Netscape falling over, Mozilla coming in, getting it all up and running. It imploded, and then we were delivered with Firefox. Now, this has sort of come about from uh, towards the end of last night's Backyard Tech Channel livestream conversations when we started talking about some of the browsers that we've all used over the years. Now, my younger viewers are not going to know anything about this because it's highly likely they've never seen anything like this. But if you're my age or older, or maybe a couple of years younger than me, you're going to know about Netscape Navigator. So, let's head on over to my Windows 7 Professional 32-bit machine that I've got up and running. And let's see if we can, how far we can get using Netscape Navigator 6 in today's internet environment. Let's get into it. Alright, well, here's my Windows 7 Pro 32-bit machine. Sitting out on my ESXi. Now, as I said, I got nine, but I wanted something older. And I managed to get my hands on Netscape 6. Now, this is probably one of the bigger Netscapes at 30 meg on the download. But you've got to remember, back in those days, most of us, at least here in Australia, were on dial-up. So, let's see how far <laughs> we can get. Now, the reason I'm using 32... Oh, I don't think it did it. I might have to run it in compatibility mode. Hang on. Unblock. Apply. Um, let's see if I can run it in compatibility mode here. Um... I may not be able to do this. We might have to look at 9. Yes. There we go. All right. That's a bit better. Uh, we'll go with a full install. Yes, I do want to create it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I, just, I just want to see how far we get with this because... I used Netscape 4, 5, and 6 for a long time, and um, then I found Firefox. 
So we'll configure Sun Java 2. I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't know how this is going to go. There, there it is there. So it's configuring Sun Java 2, so we'll wait for that. I don't know how long this is going to take. I, re <laughs> I really don't. If it, if it all works at all. Real player eight. Wow, Lee. Okay. So, all right. Netscape Navigator six. I'm not going to worry about activation. No. All right. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, 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 well. This is definitely different. You can see here I've got some of the AOL stuff. I've got net to phone. Real player basic. Oh, wow. We. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. Let's just see how far we can get with this because I'll be intrigued. Will Google let me in? Google does let me in. Okay. All right. Um, now, I need to... Here we go. Let's change the preferences a bit. Change it to... Use the current page. Always check. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now, so we've got Google. That's a good start. Let's see what other preferences we can change here. Themes. We've got a classic. There we go. Oh, hang on. I see classic. Apply classic. Yes. Yeah, that's better. That looks like Solaris, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at this. I mean, this is just. Let's um. Let's get a get rid of my sidebar. There we go. Okay, so we can get to Google. Let's see if we can get to YouTube. through here. There we go. Uh, it won't, it won't, let, YouTube won't let me in. Hang on a minute. Oh, go away. Okay. So, now, open in new window. No. <laughs> YouTube's not going to let me in. Okay. But we know we can get to some places. Uh, can we get to Facebook? No. <laughs> it just flat out blocks me. Let's, uh, let's try and fix these um, preferences a little bit. Um on the network settings. I can't even remember where the network settings are. Um, where, I wonder where they are. It used to be in here somewhere. I can't even remember where they are. Advanced. 
proxies. Okay, and now we're pro. Remember them? Unreal. Software installation. Enable. No modifier key. Cookies. Enable all cookies. Images. Font. Okay, so we can we can get around a few things. Um, let's see if I can get to. I think we can get to one of the newspapers here in Melbourne. Yeah, see, it's not letting me in, is it? Okay. <laughs> but, I mean, th this is what I used for years. Um, but I can't get... I, well, Wikipedia let me in. No, Wikipedia won't even let me in. <laughs> oh, dear. Settings. You know, we've got our little, our little thing there. I can't even get into settings. Navigator, mail, instant messaging, composer. What's that, address book? Uh, Java console. Oh, remember that? Show Java console. Whee! Oh, what have I done here? Spat the dummy with me. <laughs> but this also looks like, I mean, if you've used Solaris 10, this is the same, basically it's Netscape, essentially. Um, we've got net to phone, download, customise. Oh, it's not doing anything. <laughs> so, a bit hard to get anywhere on the old Netscape, isn't it? All right. So now what we'll do is go back to Downloads. Let's have a look at Netscape 9, because I've actually never looked at Netscape 9. So we'll have a look at Netscape 9. Might as well. Netscape Navigator. Let's have a look at Netscape 9. Do not import anything. So here's Netscape Navigator 9. I don't want it to do that. I don't want it to do that either. Uh, yeah, alright. So here's Netscape 9. Oh, my... Mm. Well, that's AOL. Let's see how this goes. Well, Google's let me in. Well, YouTube let me in. Oops. Oh, no, YouTube does let me in. <laughs> YouTube does let me in. Okay. So, oh, I see, because it's Mozilla at this stage. There we go. So there's Netscape 9. I don't want Yahoo. <laughs> let, let, let's see what we can get to here, shall we? There's mine. Yeah, it lets me in. Doesn't let me do anything. It does let me in. Can't do a lot. <laughs> Can't do much, but it does work. So Netscape 9 works, but uh, yeah, Netscape, Netscape 6. Now you've got to remember, this is made back in. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Oh. Yeah, whatever. This was made in, uh, this is 2000, this was made, and you can see it all there, Macromedia, Java, this is when Java was part of Sun, what else have we got here, Net to Phone, I mean this is the AOL, but uh, the software is used, is a commercial item, so that's, uh, 
Windows U, NT, Netscape Navigator 6 with Gecko. So there we go. There's the old Netscape Navigator. Modern theme. I wonder if the modern theme will do anything. I didn't like the modern modern theme personally. But uh, what's that? What's that do up there? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what else we can get to here. Let's think of a website. Um, can't get to the age. I wonder if I can get to. 3AW. I wonder if they'll let me in. Melbourne radio station. No. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere there, am I? <laughs> oh, dear. Well... I mean, it sort of works, but there's the old, there's the old, very, oh dear. Oh, <laughs> actually, what I might try and do, actually, try and do compatibility. Let's run it in 2000. Funnily enough, in Windows 7, and, oh, yes, I don't think it's going to work now. Go away. Uh, it loads Google. Can I get to Gmail? Probably not. <laughs> don't want don't want to load. If I can get to Google, I mean I can, you know, um It may have spat the dummy with my network now, but it did work. Oh <laughs> It's not happy, is it? But there we go. There's the old Netscape Navigator 6, which uh, oh, I've got two Java consoles running. But that there's a bit of retro, and that's what it used to look like. And um, I think it was in 2001 or two that I migrated to Firefox. And I'd been using Netscape for years. And the thing with Netscape was it was lightweight. All right, It was much lighter in, in weight than, say, at the time, Internet Explorer. But there we go. Quick, uh, quick retro web browser. Stick around. A little bit more coming up on the channel today. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.